On December 26, 2024, China's latest airborne early warning and control aircraft, the KJ-3000, embarked on its maiden flight, signaling a significant milestone in the nation's air defense capabilities. Based on the Y-20B transport aircraft and powered by WS-20 engines, the KJ-3000 incorporates cutting-edge technology to detect and track stealth aircraft, enhance situational awareness, and integrate into China's broader defense strategy. As a successor to the KJ-2000 and complement to the KJ-200 and KJ-500, the KJ-3000 represents a leap forward in AEWNC technology, solidifying China's position as a leading innovator in the field. The KJ-3000's most notable feature is its conformal antenna radar system, seamlessly integrated into the aircraft's structure. This design provides 360-degree coverage and enhances the detection of stealth aircraft like the US F-22 and F-35. Reports indicate the radar has a detection range of 600 to 1,000 kilometers for, for conventional targets and exceeds 360 kilometers for stealth aircraft. Additionally, the radar can track up to 100 targets simultaneously, a capability that positions the KJ-3000 as a formidable tool in modern aerial warfare. The shift to conformal radar reduces aerodynamic drag, improving fuel efficiency and operational endurance compared to traditional radome-based designs. The Y-20B platform provides the KJ-3000 with significant payload capacity capable of carrying up to 66 tons, surpassing the KJ-2000 by 16 tons. This increase enables the integration of advanced systems while maintaining extended operational range and endurance. The WS-20 engines, known for their fuel efficiency and high thrust, further enhance the KJ-3000's performance, allowing it to remain airborne longer and operate farther from its base. Unlike its predecessor, which relied on the Russian IL-76 airframe, the KJ-3000 benefits from full domestic production, reducing reliance on foreign systems and facilitating large-scale manufacturing. Strategically, the KJ-3000 is designed to counter the increasing prevalence of stealth technologies, a critical focus as nations like the US and its allies advance, advance fifth and sixth generation fighter development. The KJ-3000's advanced radar and digital phased array systems improve its ability to detect low radar cross-section targets, potentially diminishing the operational advantages of U.S. stealth aircraft in contested environments. Its integrated C4ISR systems enable seamless coordination across air, land, and sea, making it a key asset in China's multi-layered air defense network. The KJ-3000's advanced capabilities underscore a broader transformation in AEWNC technology. Its conformal radar system, a significant departure from the traditional rotating radomes seen on platforms like the US E3 Century or China's own KJ-2000, allows for a sleeker, more aerodynamically efficient design. Uh, this innovation is not only a testament to China's engineering advancements, but also a strategic move to enhance stealth detection in a region increasingly populated by fifth-generation aircraft. Stealth technologies designed to evade conventional radar systems pose a critical challenge to modern air forces. By leveraging digital phased array radar technology, the KJ-3000 mitigates this challenge, enabling the detection and tracking of advanced threats such as the F-22 Raptor, F-35 Lightning II, and even the upcoming USB-21 Raider bomber. Beyond its radar capabilities, the KJ-3000 integrates sophisticated electronic warfare systems. While details remain classified, some reports suggest the aircraft could feature active electromagnetic attack capabilities. Uh, these systems would allow the KJ-3000 to disrupt or disable adversary electronic systems over significant distances, a critical asset in modern electronic-dominated battlefields. Coupled with its ability to coordinate operations across multiple domains, the KJ-3000 is poised to serve as a force multiplier, amplifying the effectiveness of other assets within China's Air Force and Navy. To understand the strategic significance of the KJ-3000, 
it is essential to compare it with other AEWNC platforms within the region and beyond. Japan's E-767, based on the Boeing 767 airframe, serves as the cornerstone of its AEWNC fleet. While the E-767 boasts robust radar and communication systems, it lacks the conformal radar technology and payload capacity of the KJ-3000. Similarly, South Korea's E-737 PSI, a derivative of the Boeing 737, offers reliable performance but is constrained by its smaller airframe and more limited sensor suite. On a global scale, the US E3 Sentry, long regarded as the gold standard in AEWNC, is increasingly showing its age. The US Air Force's recent decision to procure the Boeing E7 Wedgetail highlights this obsolescence. While the E7 introduces significant improvements over the E3, including advanced radar and communications capabilities, it remains outclassed by the KJ-3000 in terms of sensor size, detection range, and payload capacity. The KJ-3000's ability to integrate into a networked battle environment further enhances its utility, providing a level of operational flexibility that few platforms can match. Russia's A-50U, another competitor, has seen action in conflicts such as the Russia-Ukraine war, demonstrating the value of AEWNC platforms in guiding long-range missile strikes. However, the A-50U's reliance on older technologies and its limited production capacity highlight its inferiority to the KJ-3000. By contrast, China's robust industrial base and focus on domestic production ensure that the KJ-3000 can be produced at scale, addressing both quantity and quality demands. The KJ-3000's debut comes at a time of heightened geopolitical tensions in the Asia-Pacific region. The aircraft's advanced capabilities are particularly relevant in scenarios involving the Taiwan Strait and the South China Sea, where air superiority is a critical component of broader strategic objectives. By enhancing the detection of stealth aircraft and coordinating multi-domain operations, the KJ-3000 strengthens China's ability to respond to potential threats from regional adversaries, including the United States, Japan, and Australia. In the Taiwan Strait, for instance, the KJ-3000's ability to detect and track stealth aircraft could neutralize a key advantage of U.S. forces. The F-22 and F-35, central to U.S. air power, are designed to operate in environments where traditional radar systems struggle to detect them. By countering this advantage, the KJ-3000 undermines the strategic calculus of U.S. and allied forces, complicating their ability to project power in the region. Similarly, in the South China Sea, where disputes over territorial claims continue to escalate, the KJ-3000 provides China with a critical edge. Its extended range and advanced sensor capabilities enable comprehensive surveillance of contested areas, enhancing situational awareness and deterring potential adversaries. When integrated with other assets, such as the J-20 Stealth Fighter and Type 055 Destroyer, the KJ-3000 forms a cornerstone of China's A2AD anti-access area denial strategy, aimed at limiting the operational freedom of rival powers. The KJ-3000 is part of a broader wave of modernization within the People's Liberation Army. Alongside advancements in AEW and C capabilities, China has unveiled prototypes of sixth-generation fighters, new hypersonic weapons, and the Type 076 assault carrier. These developments reflect a concerted effort to achieve technological parity or superiority with leading global military powers, particularly the United States. Notably, the KJ-3000's development aligns with China's emphasis on self-reliance in defense production. By utilizing the domestically developed Y-20B airframe and WS-20 engines, China has reduced its dependence on foreign suppliers, addressing a long-standing vulnerability in its defense procurement strategy. This self-reliance not only enhances production efficiency, but also enables greater customization, allowing the KJ-3000 to evolve in response to emerging threats. While the KJ-3000 represents a significant leap forward, 
it is not without challenges. The integration of advanced technologies such as conformal radar and digital phased arrays requires a high level of technical expertise and manufacturing precision. Ensuring the reliability and effectiveness of these systems will be critical to the KJ-3000's success. Additionally, the aircraft's operational effectiveness will depend on the broader ecosystem of assets and infrastructure, including data links, ground-based support, and pilot training programs. Looking ahead, the KJ-3000 is expected to play a central role in China's AEW&C fleet, potentially replacing older platforms like the KJ-2000. Its deployment will likely coincide with the continued expansion of China's Air Force and Navy, reinforcing the country's ability to project power and defend its interests. Moreover, the KJ-3000's capabilities could serve as a foundation for future developments, including unmanned AEW&C platforms and next-generation radar systems. <laughs>